Now that we've got our machine threaded, we're going to start sewing. First, I wanted to show you the different stitches on my machine. Most of the, of the time, I will just use the straight stitch, and that's the stitch I'm going to show you first. I also wanted to talk to you about stitch length and what stitch length should you put your machine. Most of the time, I use a medium stitch length. For almost everything. The only time I would use a longer stitch length is when I want to baste something together that I know I'm going to sew again later with a regular stitch length. I hardly ever use a really small stitch length for anything. When you're first learning how to sew, it's easier to sew on a nice cotton fabric. It will be less frustrating for you than if you tried to learn to sew with a knit fabric or a silk fabric. So to start our string stitch. We're going to put our fabric under the presser foot and lower the presser foot down. I'm going to put the needle down, holding the threads in the back, and then I'm going to press on the foot pedal to start making my straight stitch. sewing machine foot pedal is kind of like your gas pedal on your car. If you have a light touch and lightly press, you're going to sew slower. And then if you press down harder, you're going to sew faster. When you're first starting out, better to just kind of have a light touch and try and go slow until you're used to how the machine works. So using your scrap piece of fabric, just continue making several rows of your straight stitch. I'm using my hands to kind of help guide the fabric, but again, you want to make sure you don't get your fingers too close to the needle. And just let the feed dogs pull the fabric through. When you get to the end of your stitch line, you want to use the flywheel and bring, turn it towards you and bring the, the thread take up lever so that it's in its highest position and your needle then is in its highest position too. This is really helpful <laughs> for later on when you start sewing a new stitch line. If this is not all the way up, your needle will probably come unthreaded. So now that we're at the end of our stitch line, we're going to release the presser foot, bring it up, and I'm going to pull my fabric out away from the machine. And then I'm going to cut off both of the threads, the bobbin thread and the top thread. And you want to make sure that you leave plenty of thread again so that you don't lose the thread going through the needle. The needle won't come unthreaded. Now I'm going to show you how to use a straight stitch to sew two pieces of fabric together. And usually you want your fabric, your right sides together, so that when you turn the seam out, your right sides will be out and your seam will not be seen. When I'm sewing two pieces of fabric together, I like to pin every so often to help hold the fabric. I like to put my pins in, it's called pin in. So the pin head is actually off of the fabric and when I'm sewing, I can easily pull it out. If the pin is this way, it's going to be, I have to reach across the fabric and it's harder to pull the pin out. So this is just the way I like to pin. I just pin in. We're going to take our two pieces of fabric and we're going to put them under the presser foot. And now that we're making a seam, I wanted to talk a little bit about the seam allowance. For most of my projects, for home decor projects, I use a half inch seam allowance. And on my machine, it is very hard to see where the half inch mark is. It's right in here between the 3 8 and the 5 8 To make it easier to know where my half inch seam allowance should be, I like to use a little magnet and I put it right on the half inch mark. And then I have a guide 
form my fabric that it's much easier to follow. So I'm going to take my first pin out. You always want to make sure you take your pins out and you don't sew over them because you can break your needle. So I'm going to start at the edge of the fabric. I'm going to put my presser foot down. I'm going to go forward a couple of stitches. Then I'm going to use my reverse lever and I'm going to back stitch a few stitches to the edge of the fabric. Release the reverse lever and then I'm going to go forward again. So what that has done is it is actually the back stitching has made a knot for me at the edge of the fabric. So the two pieces of fabric should stay together because of that knot. Now I'm just going to continue on down the piece of fabric. And again when I get to a pin I take it out. I wanted to talk to you about how to hold your fabric when you have two pieces of fabric also. What happens is your feed dogs, which are the things that are pulling your fabric underneath the presser foot, they're pulling your fabric towards the back of the machine and the presser foot wants to kind of push the top fabric towards you. Pinning your fabric helps keep those layers even but the other thing that helps is to hold your fabric with your thumb underneath and your fingers on top in the front of the machine and then hold on to the fabric behind the presser foot and you're not pulling your fabric you're just holding it tightly and letting the feed dogs bring the fabric through the machine <laughs> You want to make sure that you stop well away from the needle. You don't want your needles to, or your fingers too close to the needle. And then we're just going to continue sewing to the end of the fabric. Once I get close to the end, I'm going to go close to the edge of the fabric. I'm going to reverse and then come forward again to do a locking back stitch on this end of the fabric. I'm going to reverse and come forward again. When I'm done stitching, then we're going to raise the presser foot and again bring the fabric out. And I didn't do this exactly the way I should have. My needle is up, but my take up lever is not in the highest position. I should have stopped and raised this up. So I'm going to turn the flywheel so you can see it should have been in this position when I pulled the fabric out. So now I'm going to cut my thread a little ways away from where my needle is so I have a tail that's plenty long. 